My name is Ingus. Names are important as they tell you a great deal about a person. And I have been called by many. Lightfinger, Dragon Slayer, Ingus the Undying. In the north they call me Storm Rider. The gnomes and citizens of Marim call me Demon Spain. And all of Gilinor knows me as King of the Pirates. I have earned those names, bought and paid for them. But I was brought up as Ingus. My mother once told me it meant to be free. I have stolen lost artifacts from ancient tombs. I infiltrated an island of monkeys and apes to prevent a war. I was sacrificed to a monster lurking beneath the poison waste. I have visited the world of dreams and left with both my sanity and my life. I sail by moonlight to places that others fear to speak of during the day. I have slain Elvarg the Dreadful and watched the dead prey on the living. I have sunk ships, loved women, and sailed to every port and island under the sun. You may have heard of me. Last time on King of the Pirates. Oh, yes! What have I got? You are very welcome, Mr. Ghost. There is Shiloh Village complete. And Lost City complete. Ahoy there! Welcome to episode 4 of King of the Pirates. Right now we are just trying to make as much inventory space as possible for what's to come. Hey, Mr. Zambo Man, you have my vote for best dressed of 2019. Why, thank you. Arr, give us the loot. <laughs> hey, 40 Magic, that means we can teleport to our house. We can now start working on construction. So we could have sold those Chaos Runes for like 2k, but instead we got two steel full helms. So uh, I think the trade-off was worth it. Okay, we are done here. Alrighty then, I guess I'm gonna be ditching the Draymond Staff. Cause we need planks. For the Fremnic Trials quest you need 40 crafting, so I thought what better way to get the crafting levels than to repair the docks on Port Piscarilius. Why Port Piscarilius? As you know, Fremnic Trials requires one raw shark to complete the quest. We could spend hours fishing for it, but... We have a better plan. On the docks of Port Piscarilius, meet a man called Frankie. Frankie's fishing emporium stocks sharks with enough favor. Also for construction, this shop stocks nails. Holy sh**. Um, oops. I didn't think they would go up that much. There's 38 crafting. Two more levels to go, and we should have Fremnic Trials requirements out of the way. Of course, as soon as I hit record, it takes three minutes to finish this. There we go, 39 crafting, one more to go. Also 16% favor. Technically we could go to the fishing thing over there, but uh, I think I like the crafting XP. We need it anyways, so uh, I think I'll just keep doing this. All right, what you got for me, Molly? Ah, four emeralds. Party at the door. This happens a lot. Hey, there we go. 30%. Now just to get this crafting level and we should be out of here. Last one. Oh man, four hours later, we are done. Man, that makes me so happy. Hey, hey, 30 smithing. That's what I like to see. The big 5-2. And it is done. 3,000 bronze arrow tips. 31 fletching. 3,000 bronze arrows complete. We will definitely be getting use out of these with our oak short bow. 53 range. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> Look at the top of his head. Hey, this dude's doing the same thing as me. Cheers, bro. 54 range. Oh, it's been so long since the last XP tomb. Thank you, sir. Hey, hey, we definitely need one of those. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what I was doing here. We are hunting a rune skimmy again. Hey, hey, ultimate strength, what a beast. 56 rain, 57. All right, so we just spent like four hours at Fire Giants and here's the loot, no rune skimmy yet. Bam, 29K plus a fire battle staff, mithril shield. We are pulling in the loot. You we are raking in the loot. We still don't have a room skimmy, so we are gonna be headed back there. 
three hours later. 58 range, let's go. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent! We needed this for the dig site. Ah, oh, I wasn't recording, dang it. That's okay though, we got ourselves a rune scimitar. No joke, I've literally killed like over a thousand fire giants without getting one, so it is a happy day. It is a very happy day right now. Yo, and these stats are ballin'. Check that out. Boom, boom, boom. Now let me hear you say, Wee -ho! Wee -ho! Oh my lord, I cannot believe we just got 60 range with bronze knives and studded leather. What an absolute chad. Okay, we are getting shredded. There has to be something better. I don't know when they changed this, but you used to be able to go in here like back to back to back. And now they've added a three minute timer. So this isn't going to work either, unfortunately. All right, Miss Molly, show me the emerald. What have I got? Actually, I don't think we need any more bronze knives right now because it's questing time. Although unlocking the Fremenic Isles is one of our biggest goals for the account, the requirements are still just out of reach, at least for the time being. However, there is another place that is absolutely crucial for our account, Fossil Island. To say the least, this place is amazing. For starters, it unlocks the ability to find fossils and exchange them for experience lamps, giving us a method to train Slayer and Runecrafting once we reach level 20 in each skill. We also unlock new and higher tier methods of training Hunter, Fishing, Prayer, Mining, and Farming. At the Mermaid's Domain, we can achieve some of the best XP rates for Agility and Thieving all the way to 99. We also get access to Ammonite Crabs for combat training. And in the future, we'll be able to start killing Wyverns with 66 Slayer, and we can kill the deranged archaeologist for some of the best in slot items. Before we can start Bone Voyage, there are a couple things we need to complete. First is the dig site quest, which luckily we already meet all the requirements, but that's not all. There's also the 100 kudos requirement. After completing the dig site quest, we can begin cleaning finds, but that only gets us halfway. For the remainder, we have only two options. We can complete the natural history quiz, netting us 28 kudos and bringing our total to 78, but we're still a bit short. The only other way to gain kudos is through completing certain quests and talking to historian Minas. Out of the 14 quests required, we have have already completed four of them, which bumps us up to 98. This means we must complete one quest from the list to achieve the 100 kudos requirement, and that quest is the Grand Tree. The Grand Tree quest makes the most sense since we'll need it to start Monkey Madness 1 and unlock 8 Patol. Let's freaking do this. Hey little no man, you seem worried, what's up? Bruh, I'm trying to be king of the pirates, of course you can. Another quest requirement for 8 Patol is Tree Gnome Village, and I figured whilst we're down here, May as well go for it, you know? And we're off. Again. Arr, give me the orbs, you scurvy dog. Oh, shh. Okay, um, where's the safe spot for this guy? <laughs> oh, is this it? Ha, easy. All right, we got a flick prayer because we only got like 10 runes left, so. Oh, there he goes, sweet. The orb, darling. <laughs> oh, you know me so well, King Bolrin. Look at that camel behind me, though, scratching his neck, turn up. Alright, can't keep this. Goodbye. And we are back to the Grand Tree quest. Let's talk to Glow. It was at this moment he knew. Okay, that is disgusting. Back to the quest. We are a long ways from the Grand Tree. Hold up, there's a charter ship here. A May as well stock up on runes while we're here. You never know what is going to come through that door. And that's the last wine. We are off. Hey, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Ah, oh, shoot, he got me. Oh, hey, Glow has a girlfriend. You know, I, I don't even want to know.
Dude, I am getting smacked up here. Where's the safe spot? I won't die in here. Is this it? <gasps> okay, I think all we need to do is find the rock. Found it. Time for dig site. But first, now we wait for the ashes. I'll take a Grenman's ale. And an eye of newt. All right, uh, just the last things for the dig site. To Varrock. May as well get this history quiz out of the way. Welcome to the Caribbean, lad. Nine slayer, nine hunter. Let's go. Finally. I have literally been here for 20 minutes. Best part of the quest right here, lads. Bet they'll write stories about this one. All right, crew, get your yays in the chats. Nope. You thought I was gonna yay, didn't you? Fine. <laughs> now, the moment we've been waiting for. All right, let's just put the ashes in the fruit blast. You suck. Why am I so good at this game? <laughs> All right, time to use the lamps. Ah, <sighs> this has happened a lot today, hasn't it? Old coin, check. Pottery, check. Old Ceridoman symbol, check. Ancient Ceridoman symbol, check. Hey, hey! Clean necklace, that is sick. If only we could make necklaces right now, if only. Shiny coin, check. Welcome to the Caribbean, lad. Ah, uh, the grind is over. Let's try this again. Hey, All right, so we gotta kill men until we get a Marinto. What? Are you kidding me? Dude, second kill. Look at that RNG. My God, what an absolute chad. And that will finish off another Cook's Quest. Look, guys, I know what you're thinking. Did he make an exception for RFD? Well, the truth is, without Barrow's Gloves, this account would be really difficult, so I've decided to allow the entire RFD for the- I'm just- I'm just playing. No, I'm not. We're not doing the whole quest. There are actually two sub-quests that we can do on this account. One being Pirate Pete, and the other one being the Monkey King. After all that, we can finally start Bon Voyage. Oh man, we gotta walk to the sawmill from here. Hide the rum. You know, without teleports, this quest is kind of like one small favor. Dude, I am so happy right now. We have finally made it to Fossil Island. In this episode, we have made so much progress. Check out our stats at the start and at the end. Big thank you to everyone who watched and made it this far. Let me know what you enjoyed in the video in the comments below. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe for more. And if you didn't notice by now, I did change my character's appearance, so just throwing that out there. We are here, boys. I hope you all are excited as I am for the next one.